What's going on guys? So Apple held their WWDC keynote today and one of the biggest things talked about at the keynote was iOS 5. We were all waiting to see what iOS 5 had in store and Steve Jobs talked about how it had over 200 new features um, that were coming to the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And I just want to touch on some of the biggest features that Steve Jobs talked about. It is here on their iOS 5 page on Apple.com. I'll have a link down in the underbar to where you can see this for yourself. But so I just want to go through some of the biggest features here. One of the biggest things we were all expecting was improved notifications. So basically what uh, the notifications do now, instead of having a pop-up, they are not as intrusive. They come up on the top of the screen here and you just pull down to see all the notifications that you have missed. Have a little X button on the top here so that any notification you don't want to see or that you've already read, you just have to click the X button and the notification is gone. You have a notification center which displays all of the notifications that you've missed. So just an app that you can open up, see all the notifications, go through them, organize them. Um, so it is a lot, a lot better. On the lock screen here again, just displaying all the notifications that you missed sorted by app. And all you have to do is swipe to respond to a notification from the lock screen or tap on the notification to um, open up the app and see the notification in the app itself. So again, just a little picture of notifications on the top. We've seen this in a jailbroken app before, how the notifications were on the top of the screen and all you had to do was swipe, pull down to open it, um, but a lot better, a lot less intrusive. iMessages. Um, basically what iMessages is, it is a universal messaging app for all iOS devices. It is compatible with iOS 5 only, but works with the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. It's essentially um, iChat or BBM, if for those of you who use Blackberries just an iChat for pretty much all your iDevices. It allows you to send text, picture, and video to anybody who has this set up. So um, it is free, um, and a lot of us were hoping for an iPad chat client, so we now have that. Again, it only works if you have an iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad, so you can't send you know free text message or anything like that, but it is just basically a chat client in between iDevices. Newsstand is essentially iBooks, but for uh, newspapers and magazines. Um, so if you have a whole bunch of newspapers or magazines that you subscribe to, Newsstand organizes them, sorts them out for you um, for better viewing. Basically does look like iBooks and you can shop for subscriptions and purchase you know, different newspaper subscriptions, um, newspaper and magazine um, articles and all that good stuff. And because of iCloud, I have a video on iCloud if you want to click on the annotation on the screen, but because of iCloud, now all your magazine and newspaper subscriptions are pushed directly to your iDevice. So no more um, going to the app, downloading them one by one. All the updates are pushed right to your iDevice. Reminders. Now Reminders is basically an integration of calendar notifications and notes. And basically what notif or Reminders is, um, is just a little um, app to remind you of different things that you uh, may need to remember throughout the day or throughout the month and um, it will send you a notification if you miss a reminder or you set it to send a notification um, so if you don't want to forget something really important and one of the coolest things is location reminders so basically your iPhone knows where you are at and if you pass a certain point like if you leave your house or drive by a store or anything like that um, or leave your city or town, you can set your notifications um, to send you a reminder that you passed a certain point or you went past a certain place and uh, to do something past that certain place. So it is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I would personally use this. Um, I prefer to just you know write something down or type it up in notes, but it is pretty cool if you have like a business person, you're traveling or um, you have a lot of things to do today, you need to remind yourself, send push notifications to remind yourself of certain tasks. Um, it is pretty cool. Twitter, Twitter integration, wow, try saying that. Um, Twitter integration has been asked for such a long time. Everybody uses Twitter. So what Apple did was essentially put Twitter integration in every single application that they have. You can tweet from Safari, you can tweet you know, a website, tweet a video, tweet a maps, tweet your location, um, pictures, videos, photos, anything that you want uh, to tweet, you can now tweet it. You can have multiple accounts as you see right here. It's all in settings. So log in, set up your account, and um, you're ready to use it. So Twitter, big part of iOS 5. Camera and photos have also been updated. The camera app is now accessible right from the lock screen. 
um, double click the home button and you have the little camera application right there click it and it loads up the camera app and to take a picture all you have to do is hit that top button right there the volume up button and you can take a picture it is a lot easier to access um, so you don't have to go fuddling through the um, home screen looking for the app open up the app um, a lot quicker you also have a little bit more features you have the grid lines you have autofocus and auto exposure pinch to zoom all that good stuff in the camera app and then photos has also been updated so you can crop edit rotate auto enhance and remove red eye red, red eye excuse me um, right from your photo application so um, just quick easy photo integration and photo enhancements um, right from your iPhone and then Safari. Safari has also been updated now has tabs and so a little bit easier to use um, instead of having to flip through a whole bunch of pages just tabs right what you would have on your Mac or PC. They also have Safari Reader to sort out all your important um, Safari um, news articles or website updates or all that good stuff. Ad free which is pretty cool um, so you can see all the important um, news stories, news articles, website updates right from Safari without any ads quickly and easily. One of the biggest things they talked about on the keynote is how everything is now going to be um, pretty much wireless. So instead of having to um, go to your computer to set up your iPhone or iPod Touch, you can do it right, um, right out of the box. You don't have to connect it at all. Just type in your Apple ID and your iPhone is all set up. Um, they also updated mail a little bit better search, a um, little bit better, more improved. Calendar also a little bit improved. They didn't touch on it really during the keynote, but it is listed here. Game Center improved a little bit as well. You can add your own avatar, your own photo, and you can see friends of friends, suggest friends, and also buy apps directly from the Game Center. Wi-Fi sync. Wirelessly sync all your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your iPad right to your computer. We have been looking for this feature for quite some time. It was available on jailbroken apps and is now available right from iTunes, right from Apple. So definitely a plus. Multitasking gestures on the iPad we have seen before. Um, so just you know, swipe, four finger, three finger, swipe, pinch, zoom, all that good stuff on the iPad. We've seen that before, but it is integrated in iOS 5 as well. Airplay mirroring for the iPad 2. You can set up your iPad through your Apple TV so that your iPad displays something, sends it to the iP or the Apple TV rather, and you can display it on your TV 100% wirelessly. So definitely really cool if you have a big presentation or want to display something on your iPad to a big group of people, you can do that as well. So there you go, just a quick look at some of the bigger features. iOS 5 is available for the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 first generation iPhone and iPhone 3G are not supported and first and second generation iPod Touch are not supported as well but both iPad generations are supported with iOS 5. iOS 5 will be available this fall. There is a developer preview out right now on Apple Developer website um, if you want to check that out and you are a developer but if not you will have to wait until the fall to get it um, so a couple months away but definitely excited. Let me know what you think, what your favorite features are, or what you were disappointed about in iOS 5. Um, be sure to leave a comment below saying you're most um, excited about feature. And uh, if you have any questions, check out this website or leave me a comment below. And uh, again, let me know what you think about iOS 5, and I'll see you guys in the next video.